Hey, my name's Justin, and this is The Art of Repair. And today is a very, very special day. And it's not special because it's cold and rainy. It's special because we're starting the European tour. That's right, I'm gonna be going around the Netherlands, having a good old time, visiting shops, doing everything that I can to help level them up in every single way possible. But on that same note, I'm gonna try and do my best to find stuff to share with you guys that you know, might be interesting for y'all, you know what I mean? So let's head inside here before it gets too rainy. It's already starting to, it's a little cold out here. I am used to that Tucson heat. Uh, man, it's starting to come down. Let, let, let's get in here. All right, whoop whoop. And uh... Ooh, I would've ran into that. So interesting enough, if you guys have not already noticed, we're in a mall. And I know that there are some preconceived notions about mall repair, you know, shops and everything like that, but let me tell you something real quick, and you better listen to me, okay? You better listen good. I started in the mall. I spent all my years in the mall. And let me tell you something, there's something special, real special about mall repair shops. There's some kind of community that happens in here that you don't normally get in a regular brick and mortar. So it's really interesting to see how they do things, how they deal with everybody, and what exactly their needs are versus the rest of the ecosystem. So let's head in here and let me show you what's going on. We are actually visiting, dun 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 dun. Let me show you, let me, let me show y'all what we got here. Look at that. I don't know if y'all know, but this is just phones and we're about to just go on in there. All right. As y'all can see, as y'all can see, we do have all the cases. We got all the tempered glass. We got all the car accessories. We got all the phones, the used phones, the candy bar phones, the flip phones. We got all kinds of power adapters, everything you can think of. We got the nice setups. We got the regular setups, you know what I'm saying? But then we have something super duper special over here. We got just phones. I'm just kidding. That's that's not what I want to show y'all. <laughs> Welcome to Just Phones, Justin. Right on, guys, right on. So. I just want to show y'all something that I thought was super duper interesting. When I first came in here, I'll be perfectly honest. When I saw the front counter and I, I kind of I felt it and everything, I was like, you know, this feels like an Ikea setup. It's really high quality, but Justin, you were just at Ikea and you did not see any of this because for some reason it looks like 100% like a repair setup. Like what, what's going on here? And then after talking to Hassan, I realized that this man right here took the time, he took the time to custom make this entire thing. Literally, look at this, it is set up so that you can sit here and do repairs, and then at a moment's notice, it's a moment's notice, by the way, we get up, boom, and we're now we're helping a customer. It's no big deal. Right then, right there, you can sit down, relax, get up, talk to a customer, sit back down, relax, and do some repairs again. And I'll be perfectly honest, I think that's pretty cool. I haven't really seen a lot of people integrate into their design, the actual repair aspect of the whole setup. You know what I'm saying? Normally it's kind of split. You've got the front setup where you, where you stand here and you, you do your thing, or you take it to the back. Not here, it's all combined. Now, with that being said, I was just telling you guys that being in the mall is a little bit different. Sometimes you have to deal with extreme space constraints. <laughs> And I don't know if anybody ever saw my kiosk, but boy, if you look back on my Instagram, you're gonna know what I'm talking about with space constraints. Space constraints, I don't know if I said <laughs> um, So there has to be a lot of organization so that you don't really mess up with everything that's going on and get disorganized. I mean, if your inventory gets off, it's gonna be wild. So it's not just that he built in the workstations, but he also built in the perfect shelving units here, the, the perfect drawers. And uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but all the inventory is perfectly organized. That way you don't have to get up, you don't have to go to the back, you don't have to play games. It's all right there, right for you. So if you are looking to build your shop right now, take a minute, step back and think, you know, wouldn't it be just easier if I just made something custom for the front? If you're able to, I totally recommend it. So with that being said, I think we are actually going to head to the back because there is a specific reason I'm here today and, uh, I think we should get to it. So I will see y'all in the back in just a moment, and we're going to answer some fun questions. By the way, if you don't mind giving me a minute or two before we move on, let's talk for a second. My name's Justin from The Art of Repair, and I'd like to show off some footage from the repair course I'm currently doing in the Netherlands. 
It's a culmination of all my channel content plus unreleased techniques and knowledge brought together in a start to finish type scenario where I make sure you don't miss anything important and you learn the skills needed to grow as an electronics repair tech be it in my level one or two course, or even in my level two to three boot camp course. This right here, this is the art of repair course that everyone's been asking me about doing for the last few years. So, a little about the course. Like I said, there will be a level one and two course, which will cover the software as well as the proper staging and technique required to take apart and put together really anything you want. This basics course contains a surprising amount of fundamental level three training and science that I think that, you know, most other schools just kind of leave out. I'm putting it all in there because I believe in teaching repair through a level three lens. It's a pillar of the art of repair methodology. Now, I think more interesting to most of you will be my level two to three course, which overlaps the last class with a primer on aspects of level two repair that directly correlate to your level three skills. You will learn the hand skills needed to complete most of the soldering repairs you encounter, as well as truly understanding why I think my techniques are a true art form. Alongside turning you into a soldering artist, you'll learn enough electrical theory to get you around town and back out again. You will be surprised how far understanding a few simple concepts will fully change your repair game. Honestly, I can't even wait to teach these courses because it allows me to be my authentic self and share with the repair community. I really hope to see you in there. All right, guys. So just a moment ago, we were in the front of Just Phones, and now we are in the back of Just Phones with Movie Magic. Y'all know how that works. You know what I'm saying? So with that, I came here to answer a very, very specific question today, and my buddy Hassan is going to go ahead and ask it. What you got for me, bud? Justin, my big question for you is if we have something missing in the micro soldering setup here oh. in the back of the shop. All right, all right. So. Um, just kind of hanging out throughout the day. I've kind of gotten to know Hassan. I've gotten to know some of their technicians and stuff. And actually, if you want to sit down, I, yeah. I think the first thing I want to talk about is actually this microscope. Now, it seems like you've kind of got everything set up here. And if you come right up to there, you can see he's in there. But there is a, there's a big glaring issue here. This is not straight. And the one thing that I noticed earlier that's missing about this setup is a proper chair. We actually tried to lift the chair and it wouldn't go up anymore. And that actually is gonna cause a lot of issues when it comes to actually calibrating this. You're gonna kind of be at an angle. So first and foremost, if you're missing anything, you're missing a proper chair. Proper chair gives you like really good posture, which allows you to kind of sit at your microscope in a proper way. Now, um, that was kind of the biggest first thing that yeah. I caught when I came in the door. Um, and I would say that the second and third thing are actually pretty common things that people miss. Um, actually, the, the yeah, yeah, I would say that. Pretty common things that people miss. What would those be? Well, if uh, if you know what is missing, I, I, I'm just gonna ask right now, before this video even ends, go ahead and leave a comment if you see anything missing on here. We did take the day, we did go and find everything he's missing, but I'd like to see what you guys think. What is Hazan missing on his desk? I will say my first thing that I saw was there is no exhaust. There is nothing to take the solder fumes away from him and the work and take it away. That is unhealthy. We need to make sure that we do have that. That way you're not breathing these fumes all the time. Um, so that's a real easy one that you can take care of real fast. Yes. Now, the final thing, the, the, the big thing that I saw here, and I think this is really going to impede your work. I think that this is something that is going to make it a lot harder for you to progress, yes. okay? And again, if you guys see it, go ahead and comment before I say it. Do you got it? It's this iron right here, this old janky iron right here, okay? And the reason I say that is, first off, number one, you can absolutely get work done with this thing, but if we're talking about having a nice micro soldering setup and you know going out and spending the money to get a nice quick, going out and spending the money to get a nice microscope and you know pay for all these expensive little tools and everything like that, you cannot forget about your iron. You definitely, definitely, definitely need to go and invest in a proper iron. Uh, what do I mean by that? Go get yourself a nice Hako, or if you've got the extra money, go get a nice JBC. I'm gonna tell you right now, once you touch that JBC, you will never, ever, ever wanna use another soldering setup ever again. It's got so much power, it's so amazing, the tips are just super, super like just fine, and uh, get it right in there, you know what I'm saying? So right off the bat, those three things 
are the things that I see right off the rip that you could do to actually kind of like upgrade the setup that you have in here. You know, we've gone through a lot of the consumables. We've checked his flux. We've checked his, uh, we've checked his pace. Uh, we checked his tweezers. We checked all the little things. And for the most part, he's got everything he needs. But these small things, setting up the microscope properly, getting a chair that's gonna allow proper posture, getting a fume exhaust so that, you know, him and his employees can be healthy and getting a soldering iron that is going to get the work done without you guessing, that's what you're missing, Hassan. We're gonna definitely uh, take your advice and we're gonna bring them tomorrow in the shop. All right, and uh, guys, we actually, we, we genuinely took a whole day to sit back here and kind of go through every little detail. And you know, I've been kind of just showing the desk here. I'm gonna come to the side if you wanna step back a little bit for me, Hassan. Um, do me a favor, for real, like I know I've said it a couple times in the video, but if you can just say, hey, you're missing this, I'm going to tell you right now, Hassan is going to be watching the comments. He's really excited about the whole YouTube thing, you know what I'm saying? So let him know, is there anything that he's missing? We got his whole desk right here. All right, so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign out of here, and I will probably catch you guys again real soon at another shop before you know it.